what's up guys in this video we're going to take a look at the possibility of an elite comet making its way towards the inner solar system right now it's up in the big dipper i call this an elite comet because it comes from an elite family of comets especially one known as the great comet of 1844 i'll give you the details here in a minute right now you're looking at comet pan stars who made a grand entrance back on march 13th of 2013 i remember this moment like it was yesterday the anticipation of this comet as it was making its way towards the sun and it dove towards the sun in dramatic fashion that tail fanning out for tens of thousands of miles this is a video loop from the Stereo B spacecraft. What a moment. That was Comet Panstars once again from back in 2013. There was a comet back in 1844 known as the Great Comet of 1844. That was a daytime comet that was visible in broad daylight. And I'm going to read you some notes from over 175 years ago pertaining to that great comet and the observations that they made from an observatory in South Africa. The comet that's coming in right now is called C. 2019Y4. That's the official name, Comet Atlas. And this comet is supposedly a close family member of the Great Comet of 1844. The comet's current location, right here is a map. You can see it's coming down into the solar system. It's up in the area of the Big Dipper, down towards the Dipper part, not the handle, but the Dipper. I put a green comet right there. That's its approximate location. That would be in the north, northwest sky. So if you have a clear night, you can go out and look, and you might be able to see it with a moderate to uh, medium-sized telescope, not visible yet with the naked eye. But the closer we get to its rendezvous point of May 24th, the more visible it's going to be and the possible chance that this thing could be a daytime comet like one of its family members from 175 years ago, the Great Comet of 1844. You're looking at notes that are dated July 26th of 1850, and they're talking about this Great Comet that was visible from December into January in broad daylight, and then they followed it until the 12th of March, uh, 1844, when it went out of sight, and they observed this comet from the Cape of Good Hope, which is down here in South Africa, this location right here. In fact, there's an observatory down there where they took the notes, and it says the comet was first seen at the Cape of Good Hope on the 18th of December, 1844. On the day following, it was seen by Captain Wilmot and by Mr. McClear of the Cape Observatory. In the monthly news notices of the Astronomical Society, it is usually designated as Wilmot's Comet, named after Captain Wilmot. It continued to be visible to the naked eye from the date of discovery until the end of January. Unbelievable! And was followed with a telescope until the 12th of March. They watched this thing for a few weeks in the daytime sky. Absolutely incredible. Here's some more notes pertaining to Comet Atlas, as this is a fairly new comet on the scene, just discovered back in December, so we're still collecting data on this thing each and every day. In fact, it's been observed now over 200 times in less than two months trying to collect as much info on this as they can. Here's some notes from the Astronomical Observatory uh, Brixis. It goes on to say this object was reported on 2019, December 28th, possibly cometary in appearance when they first saw it. They really weren't sure. Stacked observations taken on December 31st by L. Busey revealed a 10-inch coma elongated towards the northwest, and that would be up in the Big Dipper in the north-northwest part of the sky. The orbital elements for this object are very similar to those for C1844 Y1 Great Comet. So this very well could be a family member of that comet, which means it might have the potential to put on a good show, much like that one did. Here's a sky map of exactly where the comet's at. Right now, as I do this video, this is called the Sky Live, and you can find this link down below in the description box. Here's a little more data on this comet. This is the closest it's going to be um, until like 2100 or for over 100 years. Right now, its distance from the Earth is 1.2 
AU. And one AU is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is 93 million miles. 1.2 AU would be slightly longer than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So that would put it around 100 million miles, which gives the light a travel time of 10 minutes and 44 seconds. So the light that you see from the comet, much like the light you see from the sun is going to be delayed by just a little bit. It's rendezvous with the sun is May 24th of 2020 coming up in just a few months at 0.7 AU. It could put on a show just like Comet Panstars did back in March of 2013. Exciting times as we have an elite comet making its way to the inner solar system right now as I do this video. Once again, that comet can be seen up in the area of the Big Dipper. Look for a little green speck of light right now, and it's going to get bigger and bigger as we move forward in time. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're a new viewer. Click on the bell for notifications of when I upload a new video. If you're a returning viewer and you're already subscribed, double check and make sure that you're still subscribed and double check that notifications bell. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.